God is love. But not with a small letter L, but with a capital letter L-O-V-E. And this love we find reflected in human relations. For instance, a few years ago when I uh, fell in love with God, I always felt he is my father and I am his child. I was convinced about it. And I thought that the closest relationship that I can have with him is that the uh, son has with the father. But you know, I discovered one more thing. Even closer than the relationship of a son with the father is the relation a husband has with his wife. Very close. Nothing can separate them. And I'm very much surprised to note that the God whom I believe and I love in is not to be outdone even in this. For instance, let me just show you one line. Isaiah chapter 54 and verses 5. See what God says. Your creator will be like a husband to you. My God, my creator will be like a husband to me. The Lord Almighty is his name. Personally for me, this means when I see God as my husband, this very abstract idea, God is love, suddenly becomes a reality. A reality. A reality why I'll tell you. Husbands and wives. I do not know how many of you all are here. And even if you're not married, maybe you have seen daddy and mommy. If the wife is frightened, what will, what will the husband do? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm there, I'm there. You know, my wife gets so frightened of cockroaches. And the first thing she does when she sees a cockroach, she says, Malan, where are you? My name is Malan. I have to go running. Because the moment I'm there, she feels at ease. Now you tell me, how many times this God, this God has done this to us? Whenever we are frightened, where we run? Fursa koden dauna tami. Bambuli furisa ko dauna tami. Nazlap in front of the blessed sacrament, don't we cry? Jesus, feeling frightened. This is going to happen, that is going to happen. Immediately you see the strong hand of your God around you. Strong hand. The arms of the heavenly husband, the heavenly bridegroom. Big and strong. And today, I want you to join me as we sing this wonderful song. To the tune of Dance Little Lady, we are going to say, Stand, therefore, Christian, stand. Today you see the Christians of today so discouraged, so demoralized. They forget, they forget that they are called to stand up and fight, fight against truth, not against one another. Give one blow to the devil today. And you can do that when you allow your heavenly bridegroom to hold you and to lift you up. So dear friends, today is a wonderful evening where we fall in love with this heavenly bridegroom all over again. Today is a wedding feast and where there is wedding feast, there is always music. Please join us today evening as we sing, Stand Therefore Christian Stand. Someone taught me how to do it right You gotta move on, don't pause He taught me how to live the life, make Christ my goal My life is now with living with the Spirit in control And he said, stand there for Christian stand Stand there for Christian stand I hold you with my strong right hand So I stand, stand Search ahead with Christ the rock. 
the spirit gets me going And I can walk the talk So therefore stand there for Christian stand Stand there for Christian stand I'll hold you I hold you with my strong right hand So I stand My strong right hand So I stand to stand Stand to stand Okay, we want you to sing with us We're going to do the first verse again now You feel like clapping your hands yeah. Today is the night That we fall in love With our husband, our creator but Someone taught me how to stand and fight You gotta move on Don't pause Don't pause Someone taught me how to do it right. You gotta move on, don't pause. Oh, 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 Stand there for Christian stand. I'll hold you. I'll hold you with my strong right hand. So go on, stand, 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 stand. Yeah, yeah. Someone taught me how to walk. In the line, you gotta move on, don't pause. And someone taught me how to do it right. You gotta move on, don't pause. Now we feel asleep, just search ahead with Christ the rock. The spirit gets me going, and I can walk the talk. So therefore, stand there for Christian stand. Come on, sing with me, stand. Stand there for Christian stand. My strong right hand. So I stand, 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 stand. Stand there for Christian stand. Stand there for Christian stand. I hold you. I hold you with my strong right hand. So I stand. Dear friends, I told you today is not going to be an ordinary evening. You may have come here wondering exactly what are we going to do. Well, I'll tell you what we are going to do today. Today, we are going to inch closer and closer and closer and closer to the wedding banquet. All in one fella. Because today is the wedding feast. The wedding feast where we become the brides of our heavenly bridegroom. You know, dear friends, two words, two words ring out tonight. Jehovah Jireh. Say with me. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah means God. Jireh means provider. And together, Jehovah Jireh means God is my provider. The young girl came to me and she was very happy. She was happy for two reasons. The first reason she was happy was because she was in love. And the second reason she was happy was because the boy whom she was in love with had a very well-paying government job. And the boy said to her, when we get married, I will provide for you. I will take care of you. If we find such a thing happening at the horizontal level between a husband and wife. Do you think God will do anything less? Never, never. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. 
my dear friends how does god provide for us in so many ways in so many ways but to me personally when i came to jesus about 10 11 years ago no i was completely broken i was broken because of academic failure i was broken because i could not communicate with my parents and a host of things that had ruined my future but one thing i tell you god gave me the grace to simply fix my eyes on him Nothing else. I didn't do anything else. And I discovered what it means when God says to me, I am your husband. I discovered what it means when God says, I will give up nations to save you. The prophet Isaiah says, Isaiah chapter 43, I will give up nations to save your life because you are precious to me and because I love you and because I give you honor. God has given up what is dear most to him, and that is the gift of his son. And in Jesus Christ, I today possess everything. Jehovah Jireh has become my priceless pearl. Can't let him out of our sight. The love of the heavenly bridegroom is likewise. He loved us so much that he gave up his only son. And in Jesus Christ, God supplies my every need. Now here is a popular tune. You're going to love this song. And I want you to sing with us. Jehovah Jireh, you are my priceless pearl. And you got me loving you tonight. Me. You make my life so sweet. 
you make my life so sweet Yeah, yeah, yeah Just pour your Holy Spirit on me Oh yeah Jehovah, 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 Jehovah You are my prize Priceless pearl, priceless pearl. I just remembered an incident that I must relate to you. A few years ago, I with my friends went for a swim to one of the beaches. And when we were swimming, you know, the, the ring that was on the ring finger of my friend got lost. And when he came out of the water, he sat down on the rock. And he was so depressed, he was so discouraged, so demoralized to the point of falling sick. And I thought to myself, because I was not married at that time, I thought to myself, why is he making such a big deal out of this ring? But today I know, today I know, when he lost his ring, it was as if a part of his soul had got lost. Do you know something? God says to you and to me, very personally, he says, I've carved your name on the palm of my hands. Carved your name. So that whenever I look at my palm, I see you. And whenever he does not see you, for whatever reason, like a husband who does not know where his wife is, his heart starts throbbing. He doesn't know what to do. Tears move you as much as they move me. Even the hardest of hearts are softened by the tears of a love, loved one. And there is something that God cannot bear and that is the tears of his people. The prophet Jeremiah writes and says, and this is what God says to us, Jeremiah chapter 3 and verses 20, like an unfaithful wife you have not been faithful to me. Like an unfaithful wife you have not been faithful to me. And isn't that our case, dear brothers, dear sisters, so many times we are not faithful to him and yet see the faithfulness of our God. This woman, she was suffering from terminal cancer. She had gone to the doctors, the doctors had said there is nothing that we can do. She had lost, she had lost all hope. And I'm never tired of relating this testimony because in this I see the love of my bridegroom. She came to the Lord she cried her heart out. What do you think the Lord did? When she returned to the doctors, the doctors looked at her scans and said, well, we can find absolutely no trace of cancer. Now this was 10 years ago and this woman is there till today. Theodolinda Sapeko, praising and glorifying the Lord. Can we have a round of applause please for the Lord? I once had to go to the hospital because I was told to go and visit a person who was very sick. This girl, her name is Alleluia, and she was suffering from malignancy in the liver. Now the problem was this. She had within her womb a, a child, seven months, plus she has a husband, she has a growing up daughter. And the doctor said to me, the nurse at least said to me, look, she's in the ICU, tomorrow we are rushing her to Bombay because within the next three days, if nothing happens, nothing short of a miracle, she is going to die. What am I to do? I went there, I saw her lying, I could not even recognize her. I prayed a little bit with her, I took my rosary, placed it under her pillow, and I told her, pray to him. I came back the next morning to collect my rosary, I could not find her. The nurse said to me, Tina, I said, Bumbu, you are here? No, Sati, Rumand Gatla? She said, yes, because in the night, something miraculous happened, she recovered, Four days later, she was sent home, and today, if you can have a look at the wonderful family today, Alleluia Cardozo from Panjim, please take a good look at that. This is what our bridegroom does for us. Can we have a round of applause for him? 
The man traveled with his family to a place in South Korea where the Blessed Virgin Mary has been appearing time and again. And when we were returning, this man along with his three children, we were in Malaysia. The news came to us that the Air India flight from the Gulf which had landed at Manglo had crashed. Well, normally it should not affect us. But you see, in that flight was the wife of this man. And you know the state of the family, they were devastated. And then after some time, his mobile rang. And what do you think he hears on the other end of the line? He hears the voice of his beloved wife. Do you know what had happened? She was about to board the plane. And because of a misunderstanding with a fellow passenger, she decided, you go, I'm not boarding this plane. Well, the plane took off, the plane landed, the plane crashed, the friend died. But this woman was kept alive purely because of the mercy of God. Here you can see the entire family today praising and glorifying the name of the Lord saved from a plane crash. How can we not put our hands together for him? <laughs> today God delights in us. He delights in us. If you are come here with tears in your eyes, I tell you one thing, even before you remove your handkerchief to wipe your tears, God, your heavenly bridegroom is bending down. And just as I say to my wife so often, Come on, sweetheart, don't cry. It's not the end of the world. See what the Lord says in Isaiah chapter 62 and verses 5. Like a young man taking a virgin as his bride, he who formed you will marry you. As a groom is delighted with his bride, so your God will delight in you. We believe in a God who is alive. Our God is alive. He's not a dead God. And today, come and touch him. And you will see the love of this God once again bubbling in your heart. A God is alive. We gotta believe Our God is a God who saves us We gotta believe Our God is a flame Healing within Every time lighting the fire To draw us to Him Wherever we go Whatever we do, we're gonna run for our lives and follow you. We follow for you, because you're wonderful too. Because you're sure. God is alive, we gotta believe, our God is a God who saves us, we gotta believe, our God is a flame, healing within, every time lighting the fire to draw us to Merciful God and the fairest of all. You are the God of all creation and Lord of our lives. I will worship you and be grateful to you. We give you the praise and honor to all of the you. Whatever. Take long, we'll always glorify you. 
Is it?